So pretty much every dog trainer and every canine behaviorist like myself in the world will stress the importance of exercising your dog breed and in particular the importance of exercising a breed like a Doberman Pinscher. But the question often still comes to me of what is the best way to effectively exercise my Doberman? Well that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. Welcome back to the Femrear Doberman Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder of FemrearCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here on this channel is to help educate you about the wonderful breed of the Doberman Pinscher. Not only more about the breed and their history and their characteristics, but also how we can become high level canine leaders that are capable of raising perfect Doberman companions. So if this is your first time here, if you love Dobermans, you've been a lifetime lover, you're thinking about getting one or have just got one then this is definitely the channel for you so start this journey by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell but without further ado I was going through some questions that often come into my email box and because I love Dobermans and we talk about them so much over on my main channel the Fenrir Canine Show a lot of people come to me with questions about the Doberman oftentimes with myself being a canine behaviorist people come to me with issues with their Doberman and needing help being able to restructure their relationship and have that perfect Doberman companion that they'd always dreamed of now one of the first things that I say to people a lot alongside the importance of being a calm consistent leader and if you're not that then we must restructure the relationship is that we must offer plenty of exercise for our dog breeds now every dog breed is different and even within the breeds every dog is different but a doberman is a working athletic dog that needs a lot of exercise to truly be content it's really cliche but it's really true a happy dog is 100% a well-exercised dog. And a well-exercised dog and a tired dog is a happy, well-mannered, well-behaved dog. They really do go hand in hand. The amount of times that I have had this experience where I've gone to help people with what from the outside seemed like severe behavior problems from extreme destruction within the home, excessive, really obnoxious barking, uh, extreme reactivity, to where I simply start with a really good, intense, high level of exercise and those behaviors wash away. And those behaviors were nothing more than building built up energy, pent up frustration that was spilling out into these negative behaviors. And if we treated the problem at the root cause of burning off that built up pent up energy, all the behaviors went away with it. So the best thing we can do is not is to exercise our dog. Now, not only does it help when you've already got problem behaviors with a dog but with puppies or if you just adopted a dog a tired dog is an easier dog to train because they're not as likely to be distracted a tired dog is an easier dog to take out and socialize because they're not going to be as squirrely and as anxious and as fearful they're just going to be tired and be more accepting and more relaxed in new experiences which gives us more opportunity to reinforce those desired behaviors a tired dog is also going to be a much better mannered dog which again gives us more opportunity to positively reinforce those desired nice calm well-mannered behaviors I hope by now you've got the point of how much I'm stressing that exercising your Doberman is of critical importance but what is the best way we can do that well the obvious one and the one that everybody talks about which is where we'll start is the importance of walking your dog now yes walking a dog is excellent exercise I highly preach and I have this as kind of a mandatory requirement for all canine leaders is having your dog be able to walk on a nice loose lead in a good heel position to either side it doesn't matter because what I want is for a dog that is looking up to you for guidance and direction simply having a dog that will walk nicely to heel on one of your sides takes the exercise of that walk up to another level because it is mentally stimulating for the dog far more so than, be, than being out on the end of the lead and then pulling having them drop into formation and be respectful is an incredible way to tire out your dog's mind and then when you're out on the walk it tires them out physically so again it's an incredibly useful tool to utilize and not only is it really helpful it's also a pleasure just to have a dog that walks nicely it turns dog walking from what is a chore to in my case one of the highlights of my day is being able to take my dogs out for a walk i absolutely love it and it is a pleasure because they walk so nicely so again i highly encourage that you go out your way to teach them that now what else can we do 
I always recommend with a breed like a Doberman is we need to work our dogs and we can work our dogs like a Doberman pretty hard. We want to get out in the garden. We want to be doing recall work. We want to be doing fetch work. We want to be doing more advanced obedience or agility. Any of those games where we're working with our dogs not only is fantastic physically for them, it's also fantastic for mental stimulation and draining them mentally, but it's also a fantastic opportunity for you to build that relationship with your dog. So don't just get out and walk them, get out and work them. Any form, it doesn't matter. Dobermans, yes, thrive in personal protection and guarding. If that's what you're interested in, get out and do some of that. But if you want to do some agility or you want to do some obedience, get out and do that. But work your Doberman and I promise you'll reap the rewards in so many different areas. I also highly recommend that you get your Doberman running. Now, that can take the form of many ways. If you're a runner, 100% take your Doberman with you. Get them running. If you're not a runner like me i'm certainly not built as a runner but i love mountain biking so i take my dogs mountain biking with me my labrador comes with me on every single mountain bike route i go that's two or three hour mountain bike ride he comes and he runs alongside me for the entire way and absolutely loves it and then is the most calm relaxed tired out dog in the world afterwards you can also do rollerblading another little cheeky trip if you're very stressed for time um and again it's a little bit of an opt-out and it's a bit of a cheat and it's definitely never to replace going out and walking your dog and going out and working them but to supplement those things teach your dog to run on a treadmill get a treadmill set up in your garage or in your back room or in one of your spare rooms but teach the dog how to run on a treadmill make it a fun really positive experience and if you notice that your dog has some pent-up energy put them on a treadmill on a nice fast jog you have to do things safely you don't want to attach them to it uh, if you do attach them to it it needs to be with like a breakaway thing so if they come off it they don't ever get hung up on the treadmill but there's lots of standard safety precautions we can take and we don't leave them unsupervised but if you're busy working or you've had a long day at work and you've taken your dog for 30 minutes but they're still eager for more bring them back put them on the treadmill for an hour it's a lovely trick it's a lovely tool that you can use and not only that it's also really quite fun to teach a dog to go on a treadmill and it's one of those things that brings a smile to everybody's face when they see a dog running on a treadmill so that is my tips for exercising your doberman doesn't really matter how we do it but i highly recommend we do it we layer up as much mental stimulation as possible and we work them as much as possible so that then we're hitting multiple birds with only one stone and i promise you if you put that time effort discipline and dedication into your doberman pincher your doberman pincher will reply with buckets of love devotion and loyalty and you will not regret it i absolutely promise you now if you need any other help with any kind of training there's links down in the description box to our ultimate doberman owner's guide that might have things in there that would be hugely helpful for you if you've got any other questions relating to the doberman leave them in the comment section below and i'll happily get back to you and film another one of these videos we want to do one of these every single week to help as many people learn as much about this beautiful breed as possible and then how to become high level canine leaders for this incredible breed so i hope you enjoyed it if you did like if you're new subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode of the fenrir doberman show